From Susanna, Rochelle, myself, and White House insider Laura Schwartz. Now, we want to get to the whole inside scoop you have on the uh, correspondence dinner, but we also want to ask you about this really interesting project, the Girl Rising, that you just were yeah, part of. It was, it was amazing. I went to the premiere of Girl Rising last night. This is a movie that was produced by uh, and directed by Richard Robbins, who's the Academy Award winning uh, or nominated act uh, producer. Anyway, it follows the stories of nine incredible young women in underdeveloped countries which struggle with being bonded into slavery at six years old, married before they're 10 years old. And these are girls that have overcome incredible obstacles because they wanted to have an education. And so Girl Rising talks about how when you have an educated society, you have a safer society and a healthier society because believe it or not, 15 million children under the age of 15 every year are married. In fact, 30 mm. girls will be married in the next 50 seconds and it just truly tells us that we have to break this break this habit in the underdeveloped nations and that's what girl rising is trying to achieve by really getting that message out there and girl up campaign with the united nations foundation is the one really bringing through great leadership programs and education programs so that we reach these uh, pavement dwellers in nepal that that we reach the the children of afghanistan that are being married at 11 and having children at 12. there's something that has to be done about it very powerful and it's so much worse for young girls than it is for young boys in other parts yeah. of the world. And I can even say with my Greek relatives, up until my generation, the generation before me, women were not educated at all. Mm -hmm. um, and that's something that, you know, my parents were very strongly about, you must get an education. And when I see people in this country who don't respect the value of their own education and who don't fight for their right to be educated, it breaks my heart because I feel like that is the most important thing mm -hmm. you can do for yourself. And they talked about this in the movie last night when a family's in deep poverty like this and they can choose to have one child go to school, they choose the boy not the girl. Wow, that so it really, it, it was a terrific film. The Park Hyatt sponsored the series all across the country because of Lynn Brettfeld, who's local here in Chicago. And it'll be aired nationally on CNN on Father's Day. Okay. So you can tape it, have your own watch parties. And girlrising.com is an incredible website with great information. And can people Excellent. get involved if you're like, you're watching it and you feel like, hey, I'd like to be part of that movement? Yes, you can. In fact, Girl Up, the campaign through the United right. Nations, has these great Girl Up clubs yep. for girls that are 10 years old, 13 years old, right. yes. 15 years old. Here in our United States, they host a leadership summit every year in D.C. It's a really great campaign. Mm -hmm. And the United Nations Foundation, by the way, was all part of that billion dollar grant from Ted Turner. Yes, yes. And now that billion dollars has gone away, but they're self-sustaining and, and supporting themselves. So you can always go to girlup.org as well. Awesome stuff. That's we also awesome. want to talk about the White House Correspondents Dinner we were mentioning in the chat yeah. room yesterday. You know, you've been on the inside on this, and very few people have. You've been to this dinner. It's a Why lot the stars of fun. show up? What is this all right. about? Well, you know, I've gone every year except maybe about three since 93 and it is fantastic but there's been this great evolution this used to always be this industry insider event where you have all of the press coming they invite a lot of the White House staff I was in the press office and as director of events that's how I always was there and still am today and then they invite the cabinet agencies because this is where they can work their sources mm -hmm. and right. know that they've got sources for another year now really it's for about the last 10 years it's been changing especially in the last few where they've just invited so much oh. Hollywood because when you get these big celebrities at your table and you've got these advertisers for your network at the table yep. you can really bump up their buy for the year so, so it's a big part of it and they're getting a lot of rebuff from it last year Lindsay Lewin was there this year Tom Brokaw said because of that he wasn't coming Barbara Walters <laughs> didn't come <laughs> But Streisand was there. Streisand was John there. Legend, yes, absolutely. And, uh, it's your Nicole perspective Kidman. too that in the last ten years or so, celebrity engagement is at an all-time high. That people like Eva mm -hmm. Longoria are campaigning for Obama. Yeah, yeah. And, so, and that's a good thing, I think, because maybe that's why we had so many young voters engaged yep. finally. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. it's a good, you know, it especially started with the West Wing back in the late right, '90s right, because right. you had this number one program that was focusing on politics and yet had an incredibly young demo tuning mm -hmm, in. Mm -hmm. And ever since then, because we had the West Wing at our at our course. <laughs> spotted the dinner quite a few years and over nice. to the White House for State of the Union parties. So, but it was a wonderful way to reach out. It still is. And like I said, <laughs> if you've got this great big Hollywood star at your table, mm -hmm. you're more than likely to get somebody to stop. Right, Carrie Washington out of time was there. We're, before yeah. we go, we want to get to the swag bag because the swag oh, bag yeah. this year was 20, 20 pounds. pounds. 20 what was in six that? pounds at the Time Magazine People Party. Mm -hmm. Everything from lotions, shaving cream to a Toyota mug. Unfortunately, it wasn't a car. <laughs> as well as uh, Georgetown cupcakes and lots of fun goodies. But, you know, there's a lot of 
of strict restrictions on what you can get in gift bags, uh, both for the government as well as I Washington bet. Post, Time, Magazine, and folks. So a lot of that stuff will be donated at the end of the year uh, for the newsroom <laughs> auction off that they do uh, at most places. Awesome but unbelievable. Stuff. It's not the Grammy bag, but, you know, let the, yeah. let the nerd pounds. prom. 20 and all pounds. The That's huge. Insiders have some fun. <laughs> Laura Schwartz, thanks for joining us Thank here in the you. chat room today. We're going to be right back with more Good Day Chicago in a moment. Stay with us. I heard it just...